or you're on your way to someone else. Understand? I got this! what the Bellatores say. Surely little mother won't hurt her. The knife is well made, but the edge is dull. It will not cut easily. Oh! You startled me. You are one of the new assistants? Good. That is good. Yes. I've been sent to help. You've picked a bad time. They have the Queen in there. It doesn't seem right. I... I don't think I can do it. I will. Tell me what to do. Really? Okay. Little mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood. It is on the table. Then, you must take it to her. All right. I'll prepare the knife and take it to little mother. You stay here. Deliverance seems to come at a high price. The knife is covered with the blood. I can use it to get close to Little Mother while keeping the Queen safe. If I attack openly, they could kill the Queen. God. 
You know the scriptures, Euphrasia. Where do they instruct you to do such things? My instruction comes from God, as you will soon see. That is the Queen, and she's being held by a little mother. Those are her elite guards. Best not to try to take them head on. Maybe I can find them. You're done for! <laughs> She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are a northerner, aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I'm not here because of any god. I'm here because your husband, the king, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we're discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. It was not bravery. I'm only here because I have an agreement with Charles to return you to him. Rats! The plague brought them. The vermin have no shortage of food here. Brave thing to do. It was not bravery. I am only here because I have an agreement with Charles to return you to him. The area is safer for a time. Oh. We are blocked in. The wall is. used by God today. Do not doubt it. But I have to go now. 
There is somewhere I must be. It was not your god who freed you. It was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we're going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone. Even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not me Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes, I suppose I could. But I am not. Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. <laughs> I like you, Eva. I can see why God chose you. And why we should be friends. We will go together. I mean... I mean to bargain with your husband, the king, but he's a complicated man. You're being diplomatic. Charles was not always a thief now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed and put him through a ritual. His conversion afterwards was sincere, so he gained a terrible degree of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. You sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? Yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife in private. Does he not love you? It is not him. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man and found solace elsewhere. Often. The nun little mother was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. Few survived. Euphrasia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy. She thought me possessed. The Bishop Engelwyn was part of this group, I think. You know of Engelwyn? Yes. They call themselves Bella Torres Dei. God's warriors. And there are more of them. We have arrived. There is Bernard. You brought me all this way to see a child. Yes. Charles has a son. Little bear. Richardis! You're safe! God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard? This is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He's better than many I've seen. Did you teach him? I do not have that gift. He got the ability from his mother, I think. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man, and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. 
Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. When I return, I want to hear your Latin words. I know you're going to see father without me. I'm not stupid, you know. By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. Okay? You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. You see what Charles has become. <laughs> Bernard is young, but would make a good ruler. One that... If Charles wants the child, I'll not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bella Torres took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to... I need your eyes, my friend.
I fulfilled our agreement. Here's your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife. Finally, you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is for nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white, all purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard, Richardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, northern devil, who presumes to sit at a negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. I'll take care of the guards. Ah, Say it. We have this. Always saying what they do not mean to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your God or your husband. But you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, 
I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a siege to prepare and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Raventlan. You will see. Farewell for now. late to the feast. Longships on the shore. As beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True. This is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You have fought before. Bled. Killed. Yes, but... There are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling, playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We may still persuade the Franks to yield. Though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We are here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Otto leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. I one says, it is better to live than to die, that the dead till no fields. You quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is this Odo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. Camarade, Count Odo shall lead us to victory. The Northmen have not won yet. Okay, 
and no quarter. God is my strength. My brother, nobody knows when he's coming back.
More will come. It will have to do for now. We shall drive these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and plunder. True. The Northmen are fierce and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath before God to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil as we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosler, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Evo, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Francia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off with silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We're not a part of your kingdom. <laughs> and I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen and Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. I must return to camp and tell the others what Odo said.
Ah, you arrive in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. True, but a wise sailor still listens to the wind. It may foretell a coming storm. Now, two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toga. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover. Just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to the smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, Uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason, but Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking? We should speak to the Fat King. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toka's right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker. It matters not. But soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word once given is never broken. I will fight at your side, Siegfried. Never doubt. Enough. Friends, uncle. We are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox, a tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thing. Someday she might stand in front of an army like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> what do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. to lay the groundwork for the siege. But what to do first? 